Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking about the no errors catching bag. I just received this bag and I'm actually pretty excited because I actually need a new catching bag. So pretty much we're just going to load it up and you know, let's see how it goes. Um, I got my catching gear, I got my cleats, my batting glove, you know, pretty much everything that I use when I play. So uh, let's try it out. All right, so we're going to start uh, obviously with the catching gear, right? So one thing that I found out is that it, this bag actually have a spot for your leg guards, right? You can use like, you know, let it loose like this. Keep your leg guards together. You know, put them right here, tie it up. And you're good to go. So usually the leg guards, right? They're usually always in a spot. They're usually like in the middle of everywhere when you put it, especially when you put it in the middle of the back, right? On the main compartment. So this is gonna definitely take care of it. It's gonna keep them separate because they're usually cover the whole space. The good thing about this bag is that it has a couple of dividers right here. So if you wanna, you know, wanna have a separation on, on all the tools that you have, on all your stuff, you can actually do that. Obviously, if you have a bag that does have this compartment, it's gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna take the whole space. All right, so we're gonna continue with the chest protector right here. The chest protectors, usually we put them like this, but that's one thing about this chest protector. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty much, you're gonna have to put it less. So it's gonna take a little bit more space because it's, it's pretty bulky up here, right? Which is good for blocking. The ball doesn't, doesn't bounce off. It's actually, uh, you know, takes the impact of the ball and, and it's very receptive. So, uh, but it's very bulky. Like it's hard to, it's, it's pretty much impossible to, it's not impossible, it's hard to bend it. So this is gonna take quite a bit of, of, uh, of a space right here in the middle, but uh, it, it's looking pretty good. It looks like we're gonna be able to fit everything. Uh, Let's go with the helmet. So I'm gonna, just gonna keep every catching, everything that has to do with catching right here on this compartment as much as possible. I'm, I'm actually gonna use one of the dividers to keep the catching gear on this side and then I could use the other compartment for something else. All right, so there we go. So we got leg guards on this side, chest protector and the helmet right here. So I'm gonna put my helmet right here. Let's see how it fits good. Let me see if I can actually put my cleats in here as well. Cleats and helmet. Perfect, right? So you can use that spot for your cleats and your helmet at the same time. And you pretty much cover the whole space. Usually helmets obviously take a lot of space and the cleats as well. So you pretty much have a couple of options for your gloves, right? So if you have multiple gloves like me, I have my catching glove, I have my third base glove right here, and I have my training glove, ballet training glove, definitely recommend it. You can definitely use these compartments for the gloves. Uh, the reason why I like them, once you put them here, it's gonna keep the glove uh, closed, right? Which is good. It's gonna keep that form of the glove, you know, and obviously it's gonna keep it protected, just separate from everything else. And that's a good spot for the glove. You can also, obviously, you can also choose to put it on the main compartment, right? It fits there, not problem, but again, it's gonna stay it open. I'm actually gonna pick this spot right here to put it right here for my catching gloves, which is obviously my primary glove, right? And then the training glove, I'm actually gonna keep it right on the main compartment right here, right? There's no problem with that one. And then my third base glove, I'm gonna keep it right here in this compartment, all right? So we took care of the gloves. I should put this with my catching glove. This is my thumb guard, right there with the catching glove. All we got left is pretty much, oh, I got my bands right here, you know, very important for arm care. My batting gloves, my towel, if I don't have a throwing partner, you know, I could use my towel to get those reps. And then my, you know, my chin protector, my leg protector for hitting. Uh, and obviously my bat. I'm gonna turn this around really quick. And I'm gonna use these two compartments right here. Uh, my batting glove are gonna be with my infill glove. 
because we have plenty of space right here on this side as you can see there's plenty of space we could put the batting glove right oh, here my bands and my towel they're gonna go with uh with my catching glove right again i got plenty of space right there we can use fit that in there no problem all right so i'm actually gonna move to this side right here so i want to show you where the bats go right so you can actually open this bag all the way all the way right that's pretty cool if you if you need to organize you can open it all the way and organize it if you just need you know to grab that bat you can just open the front grab the bat and that's it but the cool thing about it is that you can actually feed the bat this is a, these are actually 34 inch bats right so they feed they fit in here perfectly not a problem all right we're gonna put two we can actually put three of them not a problem at all and then um i got my leg guard i'm actually gonna put it on my can wood we can fit it in here and then my blast motion right that i take it everywhere we can put it on a bat or we could just put it right here on the side that should stay pretty good all right we close it up and there you have it we're gonna try it out right now let's see how it feels uh when we drag it around and let's see how it feels when we actually carry over which are the two options you have uh you know to move this thing so you know pretty much pretty smooth uh like i said the wheels look that they're pretty durable so that's good so this is how i used to carry my bag when i play you know it's a big bag but you you pretty much get used to carrying like this but this is very doable as well. It's comfortable right here. All right, so there you have it. This is the no errors catching bag. I was able to fit everything that I had on my catching gear, so I'm happy about it. Um, you know, I definitely recommend it. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks again for the support.